Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, this is a Leo-only channel. Uh, cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I also have a Virgo-only and a Cancer-only channel. Those are also below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel i give away tarot cards oracle cards and crystals okay so just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below um readings can be vice versa flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation take what resonates and leave the rest i do not take personal readings so any phone numbers that you see in the comment section are not me anyone that contacts you on social media is also not me okay um, if you absolutely need a personal reading, you could visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. Many of you watch her anyway. She's doing $10 off reading. So if you'd like to, you can check it out. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here today for Leo, please. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. In love. What does Leo need to know today? In love. We've got the Ace of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles. We could be dealing with a Virgo. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo in love. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If we're dealing, uh, not if we're dealing, tell me about Leo in love, please. Five of Cups and the Hanged Man. Mm. The Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Oh, Leo, this kind of sucks. Okay, so let's see here. So Leo, I don't know, you could be doing this to somebody. Or somebody could be doing this to you. What we have here is someone that loves being single. I'm not going to lie. This is someone who loves being single. This person is maybe well off financially, lives on their own, very independent. This is someone that just wants to have some sexy time. They want to flirt. They want to have some fun. They want to have some conversation. And then they want to disappear. Five of Cups and the Hanged Man. They, they feel bad, but they'll leave you hanging. This is a heartbreaker. So Leo, is this you? <laughs> is this you, Leo? Um, yeah, someone here is just really valuing their independence. This is someone that just wants a little companionship and then they're out. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords. It's been fun. It's been great flirting. It's been great sexting. You know, we had a great time. Uh, you know, you got it in. I got it in. And uh, it's time to go. <laughs> you know, so this is, um, uh, this is a heartbreaker. Okay. So Leo, I don't know if you're the one out here breaking hearts or, you know, if you're running into somebody that has no interest in committing whatsoever. Okay. So let's see here. Tell me about this ace of wands for Leo. Oh yeah. I see 10 of swords. This person does this with everyone they meet. Okay. They're just looking for some sexy time. Nine of pentacles and temperance. This person is in peace. They love to be alone. This is someone that loves to be alone. With the Knight of Cups, whenever they're feeling like they need a little mushy, gushy, gooey, romantic time, or they when they want some sexy time, they will just find someone to flirt with. Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords. They will find someone to flirt with, but this person does not get emotionally attached at all. They're keeping that sword handy for whenever they got to cut this off. No interest. Five of Cups and the Six of Wands. The Hanged Man. Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Judgment card in the reverse. See, so you know what the problem is with this person? Is that they're awesome. 
They're freaking awesome. This is hubby wifey material. This is someone that is like the stuff of dreams. Okay. They have all, you know, that nine of pentacles is somebody that has achieved everything that they could achieve in, you know, in life. And all they're usually waiting for Lumen Moon Tarot puts it the best is that one pentacle, which is love to make it to a 10 of pentacles. This person is fine stopping at nine. They don't need the ten, the tenth pentacle. They don't need love. Love for them is something that they could go out, get a little bit when they want, and then come back home and not have peace in their life and and have peace in their life. Do you see what I'm saying? So when the person on this side dates somebody, the person that they're dating is like, oh my god, I have met the stuff of dreams. Holy crap. You know what I'm saying? They're over there talking to their friends. I met this guy and he's got a nice car and he's got a nice house and he's really sweet and he's really romantic and he opened the door for me and he's great in bed. And the same thing, you know, I know if you're a, a woman, you know, you take it as it resonates, guys, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. And then with the five of cups, there's disappointment. Do you understand? The hanged man, the four of pentacles, and the judgment card. People get left hanging. The person on this side leaves people hanging. They make them feel like they're not good enough or like, you know, the way the person on this side will just release somebody, it's kind of like, meh, you know? I don't feel like the person means to do it that way. That's not what they're meaning to do. But it is a little like, okay, you've served your purpose. You got to go now. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that leaves people feeling a little discarded and, and you know, like let down, you know? Um, yeah, it's, you know, but they're, they're happy being single whenever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they're, they're just happy where they are in life. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the strength card and the four of cups. Yeah. Someone's, uh, you know, I feel like every time, you know what I'm seeing in that four of cups card, every time someone's phone goes off or every time it rings, someone lifts their head like this, like, oh my God, is it them? You know, look at that. Oh my God, is it them? We've got the strength card. This is going to require some strength, Leo. So again, I don't know if you're the one going through this, you know, with the devil card and the two of wands, there's also this sense of are they dating someone else? Are they, or is someone else, did they choose someone else over me? Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, the moon card and the five of wands. We have someone here that is going freaking nuts, okay? The person on this side is going nuts because there's a sense of, you know, where are they? They just fell off the face of the earth. Did they find somebody better? Is there competition? What is going on? Where did they go? What's happening? And I don't feel... Like this person has gone off to be with someone better. I don't feel like they chose someone else over you. This person just simply wants to be single. But it's going to leave you hanging, Leo. And I mean, I don't know where you stand here. I don't know if you're the person that was pushed away or the person that's the heartbreaker. I don't know. Do you understand? But it, it's just like, you know, now, Leo, if you're the heartbreaker, I feel like this could be the energy of all the people that you leave behind. This could be some insight for you, for you to realize what you're actually doing to people when you do this, you know? Um, yeah, see, three of cups. There's there's people here that are waiting for you to call, waiting, you know, or Leo, you're sitting there waiting for them to come back, waiting for some form of reconciliation. Tell me about the strength card and the chariot. Yeah, people are, you know, people are holding on to some form of hope that eventually this is going to come back around. Tell me about this chariot with the six of swords. So you see the six of swords is usually heading in the other direction. Somebody's waiting for you to come back home or vice versa, you know, um, four of cups, four of cups with the nine of swords. I told you somebody is in a state of a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, not sleeping at night. And every time that phone goes off, <gasps> is it them? Is it them? You know? I've been there myself and I know that sucks. Tell me about the two of wands and the knight of swords. Did they run off and ghost me with the five of pentacles because someone else out there is better than me? You know, 
the eight of wands and the 10 of pentacles with the two of cups. I thought I was going to be this person's 10th pentacle. See the 10 of pentacles. What did I tell you about that one? I thought that I was going to be the missing uh, link in this person's life. I thought that we were falling in love. I thought that everything was great. You know, the sun card and the five of swords, there's a sense of realizing like, man, I got played. I got played, you know, I don't feel like this person, I don't know, like, I don't feel like they're evil. I don't feel like, I feel like this person just likes being single, but you know, it really is that way though. Like they are just using people and discarding them. They're using people like paper cups or a paper plate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I hate to say it, but it's like, I don't feel like washing dishes, so I'm going to get a paper plate. Just like, you know, I don't feel like pleasing myself tonight, so I'm going to go get someone else to do it. You know, like, it's just like they use people like objects, you know. I don't really know if this person realizes that they're doing that. I, You know, I don't know. Tell me about the moon card and the queen of wands. The five of wands and the high priestess. Someone's losing their shit. Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. There's someone here that is not receiving communication or was shut out and see what those eyes, see how you could see through that veil? They want to know why. They want to know if there's someone new in the picture. Did you go back to an ex? Did you leave me for an ex? Are you working on things with someone else? Why am I blocked? Oh my gosh. There, there's someone here that is upset. They, you know... Maybe someone here had some, you know, devil D or devil coochie. I don't know. But there is someone here that is not okay <laughs> with this situation being this way. Leo, they are not okay with this. They are not okay with being ghosted. They are not okay with, you know, moreover, it's a sense of someone here feeling like there's someone else in the picture. Like, did you leave me for someone else? I, I don't feel like that's the case. So Leo, if this is your side and you're bugging out because you think that this person chose someone or that there was someone better than you or whatever, it's not the case. This person is sitting home in their underwear watching, you know, Netflixing and, and binge watching Friends or something. You know, it's not the case. They didn't, there's no one out there that's better than you. There's no one out there that they chose over you. Uh, it's not that you weren't good enough or that you weren't great in bed or that you weren't good entertainment or that you weren't good conversation or that you're not a good person. That's not the case. It's just this person has no interest in doing commitment right now they just they're in peace they're happy they live on their own they, they just not interested okay they're just not interested in in having a commitment with you or anyone do we see this ever coming back together do we see this person ever coming back around wow that's too many cards i saw the three of cups here i'm seeing the three of cups let's see but i, I don't like the way that fell out so let's see Spirit, do we see this ever coming back together again? We've got the Hierophant, we've got the Empress, we've got the Knight of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so here's the deal. This is someone that could have been married previously and it didn't work out and now they don't want a relationship, the Hierophant and the Empress. This is someone that could have a baby mama or a baby daddy elsewhere and they're not looking for high levels of commitment because they just want to focus on their child and they don't want to get into another relationship. Okay. Or it could be with the nine of wands energy here that this is someone that doesn't want relationships because the knight of wands, they want to be free to do whatever they want to do. Okay. They want to be free. You know, they feel like they don't want to be tied down that way or they don't want the commitment. Okay. So do we see this person coming back around again? The full card and the three of swords. No, no, I don't. I don't feel that this person is, you know, the next time they get an itch to go be with someone, they find someone new. And you know why they do that? Do you want to know why they do that? Because they don't want anyone to be under the impression like they don't want to form that friends with benefits bond because they know that people will get attached and they don't want anyone attached to them. This person's intention is not to break hearts the way they see it is. OK, I had my fun. You had your fun and you know, we're good now. Do you understand? Like, you know, this, that's how this person feels and they're not going to come back around because they don't want to give the impression that they're interested in having something more. And they know that that's how people will see it. So Leo, I don't know what side you, you fall on here, but 
that's the other person's perspective okay on this situation kind of feel bad for the person on this side i gotta be honest this person's losing their damn mind thinking that there's someone else all right let's go ahead and do leo and all 12 signs okay okay spirit tell me about leo and all 12 signs aries to pisces tell me about leo please and all 12 signs aries to pisces leo and all 12 signs please aries to pisces leo in love please and all 12 signs aries to pisces okay if we're dealing with an aries the moon card the five of pentacles and the seven of swords this person wants to know why they got ghosted this person wants to know, were you lying the whole time? Why did you ghost me? Why did you hurt me? Um, someone here may have had money stolen from. Be careful, this Aries might be out to just steal your money or get you to spend money on them. Not a good vibe, okay? If we're dealing with a Taurus, the Death card, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. This is someone that may be ending something because they want peace and they just want to be free. If we're dealing with a Gemini, Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Swords. Damn, Leo, what is happening? <laughs> Someone here is cutting something off. They want an ending because they feel like it's the best decision for them. If we're dealing with a Cancer, the Two of Wands, the Star card, and the Six of Cups. Someone's deciding that they want to return to an ex. Or if you are the ex, they're deciding that they want you. Um... If we're dealing with another Leo, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, if you're single and you're, okay, if somebody's looking to reconcile with their person, they will overcome that and reconcile. Or if you're going through a single bout, okay, and you're, you're really going through a tough time, I do feel like you're going to meet another person. Could be a Leo and it's going to be am amazing. This person may have a lot of money or it could be long-term financial stability, marriage. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Empress. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this is somebody that wants to apologize or they're trying to pursue somebody, but they're going to have a, a hard time because with the Empress energy, they could be trying to get with somebody that is married possibly, or it could be that we've got an age difference between two people. Someone has stepped into Empress energy. Maybe they're not forgiving this person or they're starting to realize that, you know, a, a knight and an empress obviously don't go together. Um, for others of you, somebody here may have a hard time getting pregnant, but you actually do get pregnant. So Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, you guys got a lot going on. If we're dealing with a Libra, Queen of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Page of Swords, someone's waiting to see if their person loves them or not. Like, I don't know what that's about. Maybe someone's waiting for the words, I love you, or someone's waiting to see if there's any emotion here. Do you feel the same way for me? If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the Fool card, the Four of Wands, and the Lover's card. Guys, the Lover's card is Adam, Eve, and the Snake. Okay, Fool card and that Snake do not go well. That could be somebody, if they have a drug habit, drinking habit, gambling habit, sexual addiction, this is someone that when they leave the house, they do whatever. The sky's the limit. They do whatever the hell they want, okay? Um, I do feel like you could be married to this person, living with this person. You're definitely in a high level of commitment with this person. Engaged to be married. If we're dealing with a Sag, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords, this is going way too slow for the Sagittarius. They're getting bored. They're, they're not going to be giving this this time their time or attention to this much longer. They may end up cheating or breaking your heart and leaving. It's going too slow. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Hermit, the Six of Swords, and the King of Wands. Someone here may be feeling that they deserve better or they want more and they're putting their foot down and leaving. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the Chariot, the Strength card, and the Magician, this is someone that's going to go all in. They're going to go all in. They want to manifest in this connection um, and they feel that way very strongly. So they're choosing you and they're coming forward. If we're dealing with a Pisces, King of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry to do this to you. It's not you. It's me, but I want to be alone. I'm better off alone. Okay. All right, guys. I love you all so very much and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.